Hello everyone, and before I start the video, I wanted to introduce a new concept that I'm going to add to each of my videos. So, if you haven't noticed, I put up this little um, vinyl playing stand thing um, that holds my records while I'm listening to them, you know. I wanted to have a different one on there on each video and talk a little bit about the album and basically give some new recommendations to those who do not know what is going on in the background there what the album is. So the album I have currently standing up here in the back is the 1996 album by Brazilian metal band Sepultura. Um, this album features a lot of very interesting rhythmic sections, uh, a lot of really great riffs, a lot of great songwriting. So if you are interested in metal or if you just want to get into an, a more interesting feel, this is a great album to check out. I'm going to try and do that with every video, just so that I can give some new recommendations to everyone. It won't be the same genre every video, I'll I'll mix it up a bit, you know, so it doesn't get boring. But yeah, enjoy the video! Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I will be doing a progressive rock band tier list. Now I have done a tier list video before and it was a while ago, so I will put the link up there somewhere. If you haven't noticed, which you probably have already, I redid my hair again. Just couldn't deal with the half and half head, you know, it would be really annoying because I'd find strands of green on the red side and then vice versa and I just thought, just go back to one colour again, it'll make everything just, everything just easier. So I haven't made a prog related video in a long time so I kind of thought, okay, I can blend this kind of idea of the tier list with progressive rock bands and there were loads of these on the tier maker website, they had like albums, uh, songs, and stuff like that, but I thought I'd just do bands because that would just make things a little bit easier. So I added in one of these categories. I added in the No But Don't Listen To, which is the one that's right here. There are a couple in here that I know but don't listen to. I don't think there's too many here that I don't know at all. I think we can get into it. This could be quite a long video. Um, I'll try and keep it as concise as possible just to for entertainment purposes and not drag on. I'll just try and breeze through it, you know, because I've talked about these some of these bands so much that there isn't really much to say about them. So if you do end up enjoying this video, let me know if you want me to do more tier style videos because this seems like a really fun concept. I know this is quite an old concept on YouTube. Not I don't see really many people doing tier list videos anymore, but just thought, why not, you know, bring it, bring it back. Okay, so let's begin. So if you don't know how these kind of tier lists work, uh, S is like the best of the best, like the above everything else. And then D, for the purposes of this video, D will be bands I just don't like as much. There isn't any bands on here that I actively dislike. There are ones, as I said before, that I don't know, but there aren't any on here that I dislike. Do it in the order of the way they come in here at the bottom. I won't like rank them first. Okay, so Camel. Camel, great band. Um, I don't really listen to them that much. Even when I was listening to progressive rock a lot, um, I only really listened to a couple of Camel albums, like, a lot. So I will probably put them in the B, which might upset quite a lot of people, because I do like them as a group, but I don't like them enough to put them in A or S. Caravan. I saw Caravan live a couple of years ago. Ooh, a couple of years ago, that feels like a long time ago. Pretty sure it is a couple of years ago now. Um, and they were really good live. Eloy, I am gonna unfortunately put them in C. Now this is not because I dislike them, not at all. I just barely listened to them at all. I, I listened to one album and really enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it enough to put it up in B or A or S, but I, I, didn't, I liked it enough to not put it in the D category. Here's where I'm actually gonna start knowing some of these groups and like, knowing their discography a bit more. Uh, ELP, I wanna put them in A. When ELP were really good, when they hit the mark, they were fabulous, they were amazing. But when they were bad, they were bad. So, you know, as much as I love them, I, I would not put them in the S tier just because, you know, as much as some of their albums are incredibly, incredibly good and they've written a lot of great songs, incredible musicians and everything, you know, as I said, the lows were low, you know, it wasn't like the lows were like, meh, the lows were low. <laughs> Talking of that, that opinion might be a bit strange for this next one. I am going to put Genesis up in the S tier. Um, 
I'm not really that big into 80s Genesis, although I do really like some of the songwriting in, in that period. Not all of it, but some of it. But their entire 70s output, all of those albums I listen to thoroughly and really, really enjoy. I mean, um, Nursery Crime is one of my favourite albums of all time, uh, and so is Selling England by the Pound. They deserve the S tier spot for me, um, and when I considered them, you know, not as good, I can still listen to those songs that I like. Okay, I don't really enjoy this that much, but it's it's listenable, which is not really the same with ELP, because when they were bad, I just found it was unlistenable. <laughs> Gentle Giant is going up in A. I am a massive Gentle Giant fan, I still am to this day. I'm a fan of all of these groups that I'm putting up on the top ones. A lot of people kind of thought I just kind of discarded the genre altogether and kind of moved out. But, you know, this genre, it, it's its very special to me. I still listen to these groups. I just don't listen to them as frequently as I did. And I listen to them more now than when I did in that period of time when I wasn't doing YouTube as much. Anyway, I digress. Gentle Dry, great band. There are a few albums of theirs that I haven't really listened to that much. I mean, Three Friends is, is up there in my top 100 albums of all time. That's fabulous record. Gong. Oh, okay. This is a tricky one because I've seen them live and they were really, really good live, but I don't actually know that much of their discography in comparison to a lot of other people. So I might probably put them in the B tier. Uh, Jethro Tull, A tier. Enough said, you know. Those two albums, Aquang and Thick as a Brick, are just incredible. They're just basically almost perfect albums for me. Kansas is going in the no but don't listen to. Um, I know their hits but I have never actually listened to a Kansas album. King Crimson, S tier. I've never had an issue with any King Crimson album even if it's one that I've heard maybe one time or you know only heard a few songs from. It's always been really good. I mean that period between 1969 and like 1974 when they released Red. That streak of albums are all just immaculate and just perfectly made, in my opinion, you know. Red is in my top 10 albums of all time as well. Fabulous, fabulous band. Really, really want them to come over and, and tour again here. I, that'd be really great. King Crimson will always be amongst the great, not even just the greatest prog bands, just the greatest bands of all time. I mean, so many groups of all genres have been inspired by them as well um, but for me personally they've made some extremely great material. I'm sorry I know a lot of people have actually recommended me this band I don't know how to say it. it's like Klaatu? Klaatu? Yeah a lot of people have mentioned them I guess that then I'd, it would be no but don't listen to. I know of them but I never actually listen to them. Unlike with Kansas, I, I I don't actually know any of these songs, so I might actually, I'm kind of bouncing between no and don't, I'm going to put them in don't know, because with Kansas I know some of their songs, with, with Klaatu I don't know any of their songs. Magma, uh, I'm very worried about doing this one because I know there's a lot of real diehard Magma fans out there who will probably watch this video and be upset with what I pick, but I'm going to pop them in C. Uh, similarly with Eloy, what I've heard by them I really like, but I've not listened to it enough to put it any higher, which might upset a few people. I mean, I've listened to a couple of records um, not that many times, but what I have heard I really like, so I really like that kind of experimental sound. They're gonna stay in the C tier, and I'm sorry to all those Magma fans that are gonna be very upset now. <laughs> Nectar. This is another one that people would recommend me back when I was starting out my channel, but I never listened to them, and I don't know any of their music, so... They're gonna have to go in the don't know pile. The thing is with these don't know bands, they're still, I'm still gonna probably after this video go back and listen to them and, and be like, oh, why didn't I put these in the list? But again, this is just my list, you know. PFM, so this is the Italian progressive rock band. I don't know. I've listened to one of their albums, so I'm probably gonna put that in the D tier just cause I, I listened to it, I remember enjoying it, but I don't actually remember the album that well. Again, none of these categories, uh, particularly with the C and D, that doesn't mean that I dislike them at all. I just wanna make that very, very painfully clear. Just cause these bands have been put in C and D does not mean at all that I dislike them. It just means that I haven't really listened to that much of their stuff. Pink Floyd, S tier. They made my favorite album of all time. And they're, they're, they're Pink Floyd, they're one of my favourite bands, and, you know, their discography is just incredible. 
I love every part of it. I love every era of Floyd. Porcupine Tree uh, are going in the A tier. I like their output. I've listened to a fair few of their albums and really enjoyed them, but I haven't listened to them enough to put them in the S tier. Because what I have heard, I've really enjoyed. I mean, um, Anesthetize. That's a great, great prog epic. The whole album, Fear of a Blank Planet. It's just, it's just incredible. It's an incredible album. So I, I, I'm planning to listen to more of their stuff just because I, I've been putting it off for the longest time and I saw them last year in London and they were really, really good. It got me listening to them again. Renaissance, or Renaissance. However you wanna say it. So gotta go, I'm gonna put that, oh you can barely see it, I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Great band, I listened to uh, Ashes Are Burning so many times and I really really do enjoy that record a lot, but it's the only record of theirs that I have ever really listened to and got into. But that album is fantastic and I have heard bits and pieces from other albums which I've really enjoyed, but I've, I've not consistently listened to them enough to put them any higher. Rush, well, <sighs> we can't we can't argue with that one. Rush is an S tier group. I'm, I'm not gonna elaborate further because, you know, they're up there on the wall. I think they're like, oh, they're there as well. They're one of the only, oh, I've got Peter Gabriel poster over there. Prog groups that are still on the wall. Uh, actually, I've got my Keith Emerson poster behind the camera there. I'm going off topic. So yeah, Rush, S tier band, they've made so many, so many great albums and even their 80s material I enjoyed as well. Cause some, with some of these groups, the 80s material was just a bit, when I listened to it, but Rush was consistent and you know, they had that comeback in the 90s as well, which was really, really good. Alan Parsons Project. I will put Alan Parsons in, I'll let him in. Yeah, that was gonna be B. I was gonna, I was thinking A, but I'm just remembering how much Alan Parsons I actually listened to. There were a few albums that I listened to like consistently, but there was so much of his, output that I just didn't listen to at all. In the middle, I'm like, yeah, I like this group, but like not enough to put them in the higher categories. Mars Volta. I've had some very upset people. I barely listen to the Mars Volta. I know I should because, you know, so many of you guys rate them. My dad really rates them. They're one that have been on my list for a little while. I just, my approach to listening to music is just so bizarre because I'll write down artists that I want to listen to or albums and I'll just never get around to them and then people will remind me oh you should listen to the album and I'm like oh my god I meant to do that ages ago. Van de Graaff Generator. I'm thinking between B and uh, C and B. You know what? I'll, I'll put them... I'll put them in the B. I listened to a couple of their albums religiously during my um, prog years on YouTube. Uh, years. Yeah, probably. The two albums that I did listen to were extremely good. I liked them so much that I wanted to see them live, which I did. Again, similarly with, you know, Renaissance and, and Gong and all of these ones that are in the B tier, I've listened to other bits and pieces from other albums, but I've just not listened to them consistently enough to put them any higher. Um, but I really enjoyed Van de Graaff Generator. That was one of the, one of my favorite ones that was suggested by you guys, um, back when I was starting out my, prog journey. And last but not least, we have Yes. This is going to be kind of difficult. Similarly with ELP, the stuff that I don't like by Yes, I don't like. So it's probably going to have to be A tier. The, the stuff that I like by Yes, you know, things like Close to the Edge, Fragile, um, Going for the One, they're all great albums, but that time in the, that period in the 80s and even some of the bits in the 90s, that I, I just I just couldn't listen to. I just I just didn't like them at all. Magnification, which is a great album, but when they weren't good, in my opinion, they just they just didn't they just didn't do it for me. You know, it just didn't hit as much as, you know, albums like Close to the Edge or similar of the decade. Um that probably sounds very old fashioned of me, like, oh I only like them when they were from this decade But that's just my opinion. So we sped through this pretty quickly, actually. It's only come up to 18 minutes. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer. So that is my list. Feel free to take a browse of it. If you also want to create a list of the same website, I will put the link in the description and you can do your own one. And yeah, keep it polite in the comments. Again, these are just my opinions. You know, I, I know no one ever listens to that sentence, but opinions, I have justifications for each of these. You know, I, I wouldn't, 
put these in without thinking about it first. Again, before I end the video, because with a few people, it doesn't seem to go through the brain at all, and I always end up replying to comments, which I shouldn't. Because Just because it's lower down on the list does not mean I dislike it. For example, with Eloy or Magma or PFM, I don't dislike those groups. I just haven't listened to them enough to put them any higher. Don't get offended, please. You know. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I will put the tier list video that I did with my dad a while back. Um, it'll be in the description or around on the screen somewhere. Um, and yeah, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.